Jesus Christ and for inflaming in us a passionate desire to proclaim his gospel and to lead others to know and to love him and to deepen their faith in him. Thank you for the ministry of Cardinal John Foley and for his inspiring and challenging witness. Bless this initiative of our seminary so that our efforts may be fruitful and be carried out in accord with your holy will. Brother Daly is a priest of the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales, and we're so delighted to welcome so many of his brother Oblates here with us this evening, and a very special way, Father O'Connor, a member of the Board of Trustees also, and the, so many from the community at De Sales University, where Father has been on the faculty for 20, more than 25 years. Uh, he is the founder of the Salesian Center for Faith and Culture, and now holds also the Father Louis Brisson Chair in Salesian Spirituality. To Father O'Connor and the whole sales community, thank you for lending us Father Daly this year. And, uh, he has mysteriously been unable to find his car keys, and uh, the, <laughs> the, uh, the, the doors that are locking, you know, he's not able to get out. But, uh, I suppose at some point he's going to have to come back. He earned his doctoral degree in sacred theology from the Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome, where he completed his dissertation on the biblical book of Job, which is very good for late January to think about. <laughs> he has lectured worldwide on topics in biblical theology, Salesian spirituality, and Catholic higher education. He's written and edited and translated, or translated, six books and more than 40 articles in a variety of publications in the United States and abroad. And he has also served as a feature editor on the op-ed and religion pages of the Morning Call, the newspaper in the Lehigh Valley, and has appeared on radio and television in both local and national. Welcome, Father Thomas Dale, Council, who has spoken on multiple occasions about his predecessor's work. In his view, Cardinal Foley made it possible to see the face of a church capable of speaking to the world with cordialness and to dialogue with it in maximum openness without ever putting aside the truth or its reasons. Fellow alumnus of a Jesuit university, I will endeavor to develop this talk in three points. <laughs> what I imagine Cardinal Foley would love especially about Pope Francis is his journalistic style his evangelical message, and his digital discipleship. Now first, both the Cardinal and the Pope share an attitude and an ability that could commonly be called journalistic. Their concern is to bring the church into direct contact with the world through ways at once daring and down to earth, ways that are newsworthy by their very normality. They engage others openly and in so doing, exercise a strong influence on the reformation of our culture. With God's word over those of men and women. The substance of the message they speak is not simply the current news cycle, but the good news, the gospel. They are at heart both pastors and preachers, and their work remains focused on the church's 